All right, we're here with Jonathan Hutyen from Under Armour at TRE here in Austin, and uh, some exciting stuff coming in January 24, I'm told, Jonathan. Absolutely, What's yeah. going on? What's here today? Uh, total refresh for Under Armour Run Footwear. So we're excited. Um, we're taking the opportunity to restart our line, kind of build a better strategy of silos and how our footwear comes to life, and then how we build that toolkit for runners, and really giving them everything they would need in that seven, 10-day weekly training cycle, um, whether it's easy day miles, long day miles, track day, workout day, and then ultimately race day. And it's all coming together, and we're kicking it off in January with three really great new models. Cool. What we have those models here today? We do. What do we want to start with? Let's, let's see these. Let's start with the the cream of the crop. We won't pull any punches, right? We'll start <laughs> start at the top. Um, so what's exciting with uh, what's coming in January of the new year is the Velocity Elite Two. So Velocity Elite One in the market now. Um, what's exciting about the two is it's already been teased a little bit for any marathon fans out there that watch New York. Sharon Lochetti um, podiumed again at New York after winning in 22, followed up with a third place in 23, wearing a, pro um, a production version of this model. So it's been teased out already, picked up in a little publications here and there, but what's exciting is it's coming in the new year for mass market and retail. Um, but just love working with Sharon and all of our athletes on developing high performance footwear. They're great to work with teams in Baltimore, teams in Flagstaff. Um, they're wear test partners, right? They're brand partners. Um, and then we get to see them race and crush it on race day. It's the best. So, um, so yeah, Sharon ran in this uh, just earlier in November, got third. What's great about this is we, we just really just maximized everything from the one to the two. Brought the stack height all the way up to just under those World Athletic minimums. So we're giving all the foam back to the athlete. It's softer, it's more bouncy, has more energy return. Um, and then we really got after the geometry of the plate that's in between the two layers of foam. So full length thermoset carbon plate, but it's all about the geometry in the forefoot. We have this kind of really unique ellipsy shape that is like a great rocker. Um, and you, you know, you could throw it on. Um, once you have it on, you feel it underfoot. It's, it's remarkable. It's, it's honestly unlike anything else. And that's what we're excited about. You know, we're all fighting for foams and plates, et cetera, in the market. Um, and we're also looking at getting after it with geometry and how we can give that, yeah, give that to the athlete. We've seen it and we've proved it in our labs in Portland, which is great, but we love seeing it uh, you know, deliver on the road with our athletes, and we saw that with Sharon this November. Nice. Yeah, so one of the things that I, I learned today, so I, I've run in the, the Flow Velocity Elite that's out on the market today. Yeah. Watched Sharon win New York City yep. uh, in 2022, and, and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna be able to wear her shoe. <laughs> uh, I've gotten the Flow Velocity Elite. Yep. I've run pretty fast in them for, for myself. Yep, love it. Uh, but what I learned today is I actually don't have her shoe yet. This is the one. This, this is, is the, the one. one. Yeah, yeah and, and you know, potentially like the worst kept secret of the industry. Uh, her shoe in 22 was a, a prototype of this. Yeah. Um, it was colored up and looked a lot of ways like the the one, um, but it was a higher stack height. It was, it, it was essentially a prototype of this. Um, and then we were able to follow it up this year with the real thing and get her and all of our other Under Armour athletes that raced the 5K on Saturday, they were also in the Velocity Elite too, um, you know, going through the streets of New York. So yeah, that was kind of our soft tease launch. And then yeah, it hits the market in the new year globally and we can't wait. What's the feedback you've gotten from the athletes so far? Again, it's the, the responsiveness and that new rocker sensation. Um, you know, the Elite One was a great first super shoe for us as a brand. Um, the step from the one to the two is just astronomical in feedback. Again, we love to prove it in the lab because the numbers are exciting, but it's about when you get it on athletes' feet and you see it and you can see their workouts, see their races, that's when we know we really, we're really onto something. Nice. Uh, what else we got? So we got the, the hardcore racer I'm ready for. Yeah, the... race day shoe, Velocity Elite Two. Um, but then also we want to get after the restructure of everyday training shoes, long, long day shoes, your easy junk mile shoes, all that, um, and building out with our, our infinite silo. So Velocity Elite, like we just talked about, is our speed silo, race day silo. Um, infinite is our long day, everyday silo. So starting to lead that off again as an intro in spring, summer 24, so just right around the corner, is the Infinite Elite. So again, this is your max long run everyday shoe, um, super soft. Everything about this silo is plush, soft, um, luxurious. It feels good. Um, the goal here is to make the last mile feel as good as the first mile. And so getting after that with a max stack height underfoot with our new Hover Plus, um, which is a TPU bead foam. So full length there. A thin web rubber outsole, so uh, reducing weight where we can, but keeping that protection and durability that we need for traction and the such. And then when you get into the upper, full length Intellinet. So Intellinet is a proprietary knit with a, within Under Armour. We use it in footwear. We also use it in some apparel spaces, mm -hmm. but it's a great knit that allows us to engineer stretch where we need it, lock out, lock down and containment where we need it. So it fits the foot great, but it's soft. It's, it's just nice to wear, right? Plus tongue, plus collar foam. So again, this is kind of that everyday long day shoe. Yeah. Um, and we're excited to bring this because it just maximizes that 
that stack height for us in a place that, again, you feel as good on the last mile as the first mile, but it's all about that underfoot experience and just passing that along to the runner. Cool. So. And uh, the, so there's three levels of this line. If Correct. I'm, yeah. if I'm right? And three levels within the infinite. So this is that tip of the spear um, and the infinite elite. So there's a pro below yeah. it and then a base model. Um, and so the pro also comes out in the new year. So you'll get the elite and the pro, kind of a one-two punch at the same time. Um, and so we can talk about that one. Yeah, next. let's see the pro. Yeah. So pro, so kind of the, the little brother, little sister to the, to the elite, um, but t packs a ton of technology at $130 that we're excited about. So we're gonna keep that hover plus foam on that top line. So it's a two piece midsole. So you're getting a full top line, heel to toe of TPU bead foam. So super soft, super responsive. And then it's carried in just this softer EVA for some stability and just some like innate geometry to it. Um, what's great again, it's still super runnable, great for those everyday miles. Uh, we'll reserve this for the long day, the 18 milers and such but again, eight to 10 and those easy like slog and mile days, this is great because um, it feels good, it's lightweight and it just feels great on foot. Woven jacquard upper with, with purfles all the way through for breathability and again, plush collar lining, plush tongue. It's just all about comfort in these shoes because we, we know we're gonna spend probably a majority of the week in these shoes anyways versus the velocity silo. So again, everything here is about long-term durability and soft comfort. Nice. So uh, for someone that's you know running in the infinite, infinite today, mm -hmm this changes they'll see in 24. How does that translate to what they've been used to? Yeah, so the, the current day Infinite, like the, the Hover Infinite 4, the Hover Infinite 5, the update to what'll now be the Infinite Pro, higher stack height, softer, um, again, more plush materials all around the foot, 360 degrees. So, you know, without, you know, over, overselling it, it's a total upgrade, um, which is great. So those, you know, Hover Infinite fans, that come back for this next one and the update is gonna get a huge update that uh, they're really gonna enjoy over the run. And then for anyone that was maybe a Hover Machina fan, the update to something like Infinite Elite is that, that price point and slot in our line architecture. So, you know, we're still gonna be in those spaces of everyday trainer or long day run trainer. Um, their names might be a little bit different with this new architecture, but the technology is packing a punch. Yeah, cool. Yeah, in terms of the architecture and how you guys are, are, are laying out the franchises, what, you know, what, what was the reason for that change uh, yeah. in 2024 and beyond? Kind of twofold. One was to just clean up the architecture for how we sell in our DTC and talk to wholesale accounts and like tell the story of our product and, how, and building that toolkit for athletes. Um, so there, one was that, but then also was like, we identified places where we didn't have things for that athlete. So even stuff we have coming out later in 24 helps build out those silos of these kind of six main shoes in Velocity and Infinite and gives the, the runner everything they would need for the week. Um, easy day, workout day, race day, et cetera. So yeah, it helps us at retail and storytelling, but it also helps our athletes and our runners have this like holistic point of view, fully from run brand that they love and trust. Cool. Uh, so remind us, when, when can folks get these? Yep, so January of the new year, uh, Infinite Elite, Infinite Pro. January uh, 1, am I like, Turn of the new year, or I gotta uh, wait a few weeks. Like January 20, okay. So, okay. so yeah, a little, right after, once everyone's New Year's resolutions, like you're like, oh, I might hop off, get a new pair of Infinite Elites and you're right back on. Nice. Um, but yeah, so, so Q1 of the new year on all three, um, which is exciting, um, again, globally, so they'll be available everywhere. Um, so you have a great, great new race day shoe for anyone doing spring marathons, um, and then some great training shoes as, you, as people start to build back up after the holidays. Very cool. Um, we're at TRE, and this is where we, we talk about what's coming. So you showed us what's coming next month. Mm -hmm. what, what about, what, what's in store yeah. for 24 beyond when we're here a year from now? Yeah. When we're here a year from now, you know, we'll be talking about product that's about to enter in spring 25 um, and then starting to tease fall 25 and even a little bit of spring 26. And so the main thing is just starting to build on the franchises. So Infinite Pro and Infinite Elite will be into their second issue or second editions with new uppers. We'll start be working on the Flow Velocity Elite Three, um, and then but then also places where we expand our line, getting into trail more um, updates in track and field, whether it's our mid distance spikes or some of our field event spikes. Um, you know we have a great roster of athletes. You know a handful that made Budapest this summer for their respective countries wearing Under Armour spikes on the track, which we love to see. So continuing to give them them the equipment they need to perform on the track. So, you know, there's a lot of newness now on the road. We'll continue to deliver that as we also get after track, trail, and the whole lot. Awesome. Cool. Jonathan, thank you so much. Of course. Appreciate Love the seeing time. It. Yeah. Thank you.